I think it's wonderful that they can track that kind of shark that you only see in Jaws and, you know, Sharknado. The research group OSEARCH has opened a window into the world of great whites, tagging, then tracking them. They corralled Catherine and fitted her off Cape Cod last summer. And the 2,300-pound marine monster made a beeline for Central Florida, pinging in several times yesterday and today. Folks are fascinated, but from a distance. I'll stand on the shore and wait to see the fin. <laughs> but that's it. I, that's, I don't want to see her up close and personal. Though Catherine's presence may surprise most of us, fishermen like Jason Hardy, who captains the Try and Hooker, have long been aware one of the sea's top predators are offshore. Great whites are more common in cold or cool water, but apparently they'll soak up a little Florida sun, too. They're definitely out there. You know, you, get, you see them here and there. You know, a lot of longliners, they'll get them eating their fish or whatever off their long lines. So they're there. George Endy and his pals were doing a little recreational fishing out some 46 miles, so they probably crossed Catherine's path. They're keeping their eyes peeled as they head back out. I would really actually kind of like to see it up close. I think it would be kind of cool to be in a boat and see an animal like that, but uh, it's kind of interesting. It just shows you how far they actually move and what's around you all the time.